Now a look back into the treasure trove of New York City Marathon Race Day. A running series great moment in racing. Some go fast, some not so fast. A look at the festive finish line of the most recent New York City Marathon. You've done the training. You have paid your dues on the five borough 26.2 mile course. Time for the joy of the finish line to come front and center. But now, a look back, over 30 years back, November 2nd, 1986. Then, as now, Achilles athletes, those with disabilities, are first off the line with the able-bodied to follow. Dick Trom, Achilles founder, and Linda Downs head up the steep Verrazano Hill. And far behind, very far behind, Bob Weiland. Bob is a Vietnam vet who lost his legs to a mortar mine in 1969. But he has the courage to start. The entire field would pass him, all 19,413 of them, and Bob would press on. No question, he will finish. He finished his marathon in 98 hours, 48 minutes, and 17 seconds. Race director Fred LeBeau said Bob Weiland set a world record for the slowest marathon ever run. Bob Weiland, a man with no limitations. Next time we complain about sore leg muscles, think of Bob Weiland. <laughs>